Hello there first year students, today we have unit 8 in your book Headway the Beginner Level. Today we are going to talk about the prepositions, prepositions of place, word order, and you need to check the right sentence. First we have the prepositions. Exercise 1. Look at the prepositions. In, fi, on, ala, under, taht, next to, bijanib. Exercise 2. Look at Robert's bedroom. Write a preposition from exercise 1. So now let us have a look at Robert's bedroom. I hope that your rooms are not like that of Robert's. Number one. His laptop is on the desk. Number two. The CD player is next to the laptop. Number three, there are three books on the floor next to his bed. Number four, his car keys are in the drawer. That lahun ako sura mukabar in the drawer. So the car keys are in the drawer. Number five, there is a football, shift or football, a kid of football on the floor, alal arb, under the desk. Under the desk, yes. Number six, as a trainers, trainers, yani ahliyatariyava, are next to his bag, bijanib, haqibta under the bed under his bed so his trainers are next to his bag under his bed yes now let us look at this exercise about word order put the words in the correct order to make a questions في الترتيب الصحيح لصياغة أسئلة Number one أن كلمات متفرقة house, uh, or live, in, do, flat, you, a uh. So احنا نعرف حتى نصيغ سؤال نحتاج either نبي السؤال ب question word for example why, what, where, how, how many, how old Okay, أو نبديها with an auxiliary verb أو نبديها بفعل مساعد إذا ما عدنا question word إذا حتكون uh, yes no question اللي حتبدي with an auxiliary verb فعل مساعد فندور أول شيء إذا هو سؤال ندور بين هذه الكلمات على either question word إذا ما لقينا فإذا ناخذ ال auxiliary verb هنا عدنا do ما عندنا question word we have the auxiliary verb do بعد ال auxiliary verb حيجي فاعل نبحث عن الفاعل وأخذنا ضمائر الفاعل subject pronouns I, you, he, she, it, they, we هاي ضمائر الفاعل أو قد يكون الفاعل اسم أوكي okay, اسم شخص uh, عموما so هنا عندنا do you الفاعل هو ضمير you بعد الفاعل حيجي ال main verb okay هذا طبعا ال word order of the question of making a question so عندنا ال auxiliary verb plus the subject plus the main verb نبحث عن ال main verb الفعل الرئيسي في الجملة هنا عندنا live do you live وراها ال complement of the sentence تكملة الجملة or the question فا يعني عندنا do you live عادة live يأتي بعدها preposition in I live in okay so do you live in 
ورا ان اكيد حيجي المكان اللي نعيش بيه Do you live in a house or a flat او حتى اذا سويناها Do you live in a flat or a house هل تعيش في شقة او منزل او منزل او شقة No problem اوكي okay. وعادة الاسم المفرد المعدود يأتي بعد ال indefinite articles uh, اللي هي ال a او ال n اوكي فنحط a house a flat right let us look at you, uh, number two many how are their bedrooms سؤال نبحث عن question word Okay, we have a question word. We have how, how many, how many. عادة how many أتي بعدها ال الاسم اللي إحنا دا نسأل عنه. So how many bedrooms? How many bedrooms? بما إنه هو سؤال فيتقدم ال الفعل هنا نحتاج شو المساعد بس with verb to be مع الفعل to be اللي هو is are أم ما يحتاج فعل مساعد أوكي قلنا هاي الاستثناء في حالة السؤال the verb to be بال present simple tense ما يحتاج فعل مساعد also بال past simple tense so how many bedrooms are there how many bedrooms are there فيكون الجواب there are مثلا Five bedrooms. There are three bedrooms. Okay. Number three. أيضاً نبحث عن question word. إذا ملكين question word نأخذ the auxiliary verb. إذا أن verb to be فهو يكون the main verb هو the auxiliary verb. Yes. ف there there is no question word. إذا نأخذ verb to be اللي هو is. Is there? نادا إن عندنا نبحث عن شيء موجودة مثلاً داخل منزل فنقول there are, there is, مثلاً there is a phone in the kitchen. There are chairs in the room. فمن نسأل عنها is there, are there, هل يوجد هناك, okay? Is there a phone in the kitchen? Is there a phone in the kitchen? هل يوجد هاتف في المطبخ? Is there a phone in the kitchen? Number four. Also here we have the verb is. There. طبعا نبحث عن الكلمات يعني هنا هرتبها logically يعني هي أكثرها nouns أسماء. So, is there a television in the living room? Is there a television in the living room? هل يوجد تلفاز في غرفة المعيشة? Number five. Also here we have, is there? طبعا, is there? من أسعى عن شيء عن وجود شيء مفرد في مكان ما. و are there? من أسعى عن وجود يعني مجموعة أشياء في مكان ما. Is there a DVD player under the television? Is there a DVD player under the television? Is there? وبعدها وضعنا ال DVD player. أكيد مو التلفزيون هو under the DVD player. So is there a DVD player under the television? Number six. Now, the R. Are there? When we talk about the الكلمة الجمع اللي دنس عن عنها. Are there? عندنا books. لكن لاحظ إنه أكو قب أكو أيضا عندنا a lot of. So are there a lot of books in your bedroom? Are there a lot of books in your bedroom? Number seven. Also, we have are there. And the pictures. 
on the wall فقط عندنا any ال any أيضا نضعها قبل ال pictures are there any pictures on the wall هل هناك أي لوحات على الجدار are there any pictures on the wall now check it tick the correct sentence number one is a sofa in the living room or we should say is there a sofa in the living room the next one is the correct one is there a sofa in the li living room هل يوجد اريكه في غرفة المعيشة number two there is DVD player on the floor or we should say there is a DVD player on the floor of course the second one is the correct one there is a DVD يجب الاسم المعدود المفرد المعدود نضع قبل indefinite article اللي هي either a or an there is a DVD player on the floor. Number three. Are there a poster on the wall? Or are there any posters on the wall? أيضا الثانية هي الصحيحة لأن إحنا نسأل عن شيء جمع فاستخدمنا are. لكن الجملة الأولى are there a poster عندنا مفرد. فالجملة الثانية هي الصحيحة أو السؤال الثاني هو الصحيح Are there any posters? Are من نسأل عن شيء جمع فلازم يأتي بعد Are there اسم جمع الجملة الأولى بعدها اسم مفرد So are there any posters on the wall? Number four My keys are in the drawer Or my keys are on the drawer the first one is the correct one. My keys are in the drawer. Number five. The lamp is next to the bed or the lamp is next to the next the bed. The first one is the correct one. The lamp is next to the bed. Next to. Uh, هاي نسميها prepositional phrase يعني uh, حرف جر uh, على شكل عبارة هي next to دائما next to ما نستخدم next نجي استعمالها uh, أو معناها شيء آخر so the lamp is next to the bed thank you and have a good day